Okay, so let's start by Hackathon 2011. Uh, so first of all, welcome to Japan, and please enjoy the, this whole meeting. So the, this year, by Hackathon is presented by jointly presented by NBDC and DBCRS. And the topic of this biohackathon is technologies for handling digital data in life sciences. And biohackathon is an acronym of bio and hack and marathon. It is basically a biomatics coding camp. And the good point of this uh, style of international workshop is the problem is developers can meet face to face and uh, their creativity is exchanged mutually. And addressing the several issues in bioinformatics by intense software development in one week. And this kind of hackathon culture is originally from the free software culture and uh, it is inherited to the open bio community in 2001, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and uh, I personally think the most important point of the biohackathon is uh, emergence. So people gather in one place, so the communities or ideas or new technologies will emerge within one week. So. And this is a photo, some photographs taken from the past by hackathons. So we have symposium and we have a very intensive discussion of coding uh, time. And finally, we have published two uh, special review on the DBCX by hackathons. So here we list. Uh, past our past three biohackathons. Uh, overall topics were the integration of life science resources through standardization or to improve interoperability. So the, in the first year, we uh, tried to make a data type standardization in web services to integrate various data resources or services virtually. In the second DBCS by Hackathon, we tried these standardized web services in a more practical use cases. And we found several limitations through the, to construct the uh, effective web service, uh, effective workloads. So, the topics of the last biohackathon was the uh, introduction of the semantic web technologies to deal with heterogeneous data resources or uh, web services. And this slide was the same one used in the previous biohackathon. And last year we wanted to learn the semantic web technology, how it, what, what is all about, and is it promising, and will it give better uh, solution for us. And uh, we surveyed uh, several link data resources and triple stores, and we also discussed what kind of semantic web supporting tools will be required in the open bio community. And this is a brief summary of the uh, basics of RDF and linked data. So we already had by two RDF project or Uniplot that as a pioneer work, they converted the, uh, several biological, biomedical resources, databases into RDF. And the, during the Previous by Hakasun uh, in Japan, DDBJ, PDBJ, and K projects also try to convert their data into RDF format. So, what is RDF? 
So RDIF is very simple data model, uh, form of subject, predicate, and object. So subject is specified in a URI, and predicate shows the relation of subject and object. So it is very simple syntax and simple enough for integration of heterogeneous data sets. And that linked data is a method of exposing and sharing these RDF resources on the web. So our message was database providers should release their data in RDF format on the web by themselves. Okay. So this year, uh, JST, Japanese Funding Agency for Science Technology, started a new division, which is named NBDC, National Bioscience Database Center. And to promote further integration and utilization preservation of the database resources. So among the, uh, under the umbrella of NBDC, Center, uh, DBCS will continue to support by uh, support by developing technological infrastructure to create uh, integrated uh, data so, um, data system, database system. And this, the most important thing is these two organizations decided to put emphasis on the generation and the utilization of RDF data. So the topic of this year's by Hakkasan is set as technology for handling linked data for in life science. So why we choose RDF? So this is not a agreed discussion, but <laughs> this is my personal and partly cited from uh, one blog I prepared my my favorite. So RDF database system and RDF database system are the only standardized, not only SQL solutions. So there are many efficient key value stores, but RDF has uh, agreed to find the set of standards, uh, which is resource which is the simple and uniform standard and resource centric. We use URIs and very simple syntax and uh, our ontology vocabulary, our ontology language to describe the semantics. And additional point is we have Sparkle. Sparkle query language is a standard query language for RDF databases and it is becoming widely accepted. So overall, accessibility and interoperability or portability is most important to integrate heterogeneous and huge data sets. And these points and other pros and cons will be discussed during this symposium and the rest of the Hackathon weeks. Uh, Hackathon week. Okay, so for this year, we have invited several uh, areas of the related groups. So, firstly, we have uh, biological data, such as Uniplot, BioGateway, Miriam. And to store the information, we have several database systems, such as Biomark. And to integrate this data into a uh, Analysis services we use, for example, sem CD, semantic web services, or BioXSD. And to support this data or workflow handling, we also need uh, toolkits like open bio libraries or uh, new technology for text, text mining or visualization, or, and etc. And among these areas, the ontology and the standardization is still a big, important uh, problem. So we had invite, we invited uh, 
several specialists from uh, NCDO or EDAM or RD Foundry to discuss uh, several issues among the ontology in bioinformatics. And we are also focusing on the how to standardize the databases. So I hope this symposium and biohackathon will be a good opportunity to collaborate to bring a new standardized and agreed ontology and standardization. Okay, so we have a lot of acronyms and terms. So I had created a dictionary on the website. So if you are not familiar with these terms, please consult this. Please take a look at this web page to understand these words and to find links to the actual resources which is described. Okay, so basically in integration of uh, linked data is an integration of knowledge. So, and the currently almost all biological knowledge is written in a literature. So it is, it means the knowledge is in PDF, but we need to make it RDF. So, systematic theory is very important. <laughs> Okay, so from viewpoint of the open bio developer, um, I want to create a library of tools to support this uh, workflow construction. So if user wanted to retrieve data from your plot in RDF format and also query biomart database through Sparkle query and um, combine them to post to the CD service. And to, the, to that result, the user may want to add several annotations with text mining and then post to another web service again and store it to their own data, database or to use some visualization tool to report, to have a report. So in each step, an input and output is a RDA in this schema. So the data conversion of the internal memory object and RDA object will be required. So I think I personally think tools to manage these RDA resources and semantic services will be developed more extensively and we should have common Sparkle query API to biological uh, uh, biological RDF databases. And if open bio libraries can have a common set of uh, object and RDF mapping, we can use, use we can construct this kind of uh, workflow in any language user likes. Okay. So again, by Hakasson is an emergence of new ideas and communities, so please enjoy involvement of yourself and please enjoy discussions and the happy hacking. So.